Hello, Icelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 3. We're back at the National Archive Museum. Uh, Sydney has beckoned us over. I think, I believe she said, if you come with me if you want to live, which is a funny, fun Terminator reference, I think. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I've brought the minigun out today. Um, she is across from us uh, in a literal minefield. There are mines everywhere here, and I just. Uh, don't feel very comfortable with all these mines around. Also, they give experience, so I feel like it's worth my time to go ahead and disarm these. Very carefully. Oh god, those are... S there are s those are uh, so close together. With all these mines being set up like this, I think... This might be... God, my, my character kind of jumped forward a bit there and it scared the crap out of me. I think this might be a... Um, Boston Library type situation where we're going to have a whole bunch of super mutants come in. And it's going to be me and Sydney against the world pretty much. Which, uh, you know... Could be kind of scary. Alright, there's three over here, I think. Oh, there's one there, too. Right there. I'll point with my laser pointer. I put a laser pointer on my uh, minigun. It's very accurate now. Which is cool. Okay. So, I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume I go and talk to her. Stuff immediately starts coming in here and we fight them all. What I'm going to say is, uh, screw that. I'm going to put down some mines in a concentrated area here so that we can, you know, get some actual kills. Shit, wrong. Game's over. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I pissed them off. I kind of need them to come over here. Oh, they're going to come from the back. Lock and load. They'll be here any second. Where? <laughs> Hang tight. Okay, that went pretty well, honestly, in my estimation. You know, considering missile launcher and everything. Oh, we got level up too. Hmm, big guns or... The ammo won't last forever in this thing. I'm going to use small guns a lot more than big guns, most likely, so... Repair helps all weapon... Excuse me, all weapons, as well as my power armor, so... I feel that's the best course of action here. Okay, well, that went pretty well. A 
lot of kills. I'm going to drop the missile launcher. The minigun here for a second. While I loot. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. The minigun honestly didn't do that much damage, though. I mean, it was okay. I don't really have good uh, big gun skill yet, so... Oh, shit. Uh, there's more. You jerks. Put down my stuff for a second and you do that. Okay, um... Where the hell did my... Where did my minigun and my missile launcher go? There's one. Okay, I'll drop everything else then over here for a second. There's missile launcher. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drop this and carry it over like this. Just gonna deposit this over here. For a second. Don't worry, lady, I'll talk to you in a second. Just give me a moment to loot and uh, take care of stuff out here. You know, just in case we get another wave or something. Goes the Brahmin's take with the extra carry weight, huh? Whoa. I don't know why that went flying so far, but okay. Eyes up here, please. I'm looking for my missile launcher, lady. Don't look into it too much, okay? I just want to stash everything so I've got it all in one spot for later on, you know, for more con more easy looting later. Okay, I think that's everything that I want. The nail board, you can keep that. Mr. Dead Super Mutant. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm good with that, I think. Okay. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. No, I want that. I wanted the ammo, that's all. Okay. We still got quite a few mines, grenades, minigun. Cool. Still got lots of ammo. Uh, please, can I... Oh, I had to rebind it. Yeah, so I got plenty of ammo. Cool. Okay, yes, Sydney. To take a Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. You know, I pretty much did kind of carry it, if I do say so myself. You're playing with the mines everywhere. You're just asking us to get blown up. But I'm not going to say that because I'm a nice guy. So, thanks. You're not so bad yourself, Sydney. Well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. What do you mean by Relic Hunter? Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. The only problem is, you're not going to get it without my help. What are you proposing? Simple. We pool our resources, grab the Declaration, then make for Rivet City and split the reward. I've studied the plans of this place, so without me, you're going to go in circles. What do you say? Is this a companion? Do I actually get a companion finally? I really need to pack mules, so... 
I'm all for this. Uh, sure, let's team up. Smart move. Okay. The declaration is secured in the archive strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password. Let's get going. Okay. Well, uh, since we're partners now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Ha! <laughs> I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? How did you get into the relic hunting business? I don't know. I grew up like pretty much every other girl in this crappy world. Spent most of my life just trying to keep away from slavers. One day out in the wastes, I stumbled across some poor bastard's body. On the body I found info leading to some famous document. I had heard that Abraham Washington was looking for these scraps of paper. So I went after the thing. Turned out to be the Constitution. After he loaded me up with caps, I got pissed drunk, got laid, and was happy for the first time in a while. I haven't looked back since. Did you recover all the stuff at the Society's Museum? Oh no. There is more than a lifetime supply of grade A crap in that place. Couldn't possibly do it alone. Like you, he hires anyone off the street. Honestly, I don't care what he does with that stuff. As long as the caps keep flowing, I'll be there to collect. It's a nice gun you've got. Never seen one like that. Yeah, it is nice. I don't even sleep without it under my pillow. My father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. So I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. Quite the mouthful. Should have, you know, given it a better name. I don't know. 10 millimeter Ultra SMG is just kinda. Eh. Anyway, what happened to your father? Sorry, there's some things I still want to keep to myself. Maybe when I get to trust you better. Okay, uh, let me ask you something else. Okay. Are you hurt? Nope, I'm fine. Okay, so she's good. Okay, let's get going. Come on. Less gawking and more walking. Alright, so... Terminal. Right, terminal's right here. I need to hit that, and then we can go take a lift, she said, I think. Random hunting rifle over there I'd missed. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Okay. That's stashed. Good. Okay. Well, I guess. No time like the present. Uh, why not? So, here is the cargo lift. That's what we're supposed to do. It's unlock the car li cargo lift, and then we can go uh, down below, I think. Those two are both blocked. Okay. I guess go ahead and do it. Oh. Neato. So do I... Oh, we have to actually activate it. I, I see. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna get a save in. Alright, Sydney. Let's do this. Okay. Um, stay here for a second. What's up? you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached and This goes to the archive sub basement. Where are we supposed to go again? Uh, it doesn't exactly say government and to protect its free expression should be our first object. As your leader, Button Gwinnett, distinguished representative of Georgia, I promise you I have not I didn't hear all that, but I think she said we're going to go this way. Men, we can't let the enemy's progress dissuade us from our task. We must defend our freedom. Uh, I hear... And our right to stuff.
Are you hostile? Oh yeah, he's hostile. I think this is steam. I don't think these will blow up or anything. Just FYI, the laser pointer is not accurate. Is that a sentry bot? No, it's a uh, Robo Brain, I think. Can you knock it through here? Oh, there we go. He made it. So, kinda. Can't get through there. I have to have science skill. Maybe that's what she's here for. Give us a science skill for that. Okay. It is safe now, Sydney. You can What's come up? along. I got your back. Just don't put a bullet in it, please. Okay, Robo Brain, we can try to get some grenades off here. Got him. Ooh, pulse mine. That's very nice. Pulse mines are really good against robots, and they're much more... They're, like, much uh, more, like, only good against robots in this, but they're really, really good against them. Ooh, MF cells, okay. Sorry, my chest is itching. I had to scratch. Okay, good. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. I'm never going to remember to edit all this stuff out. Good thing I'm not actually trying to be stealthy in <laughs> RL because I keep making so much noise. Uh, we're over encumbered. I don't suppose I can make her carry some stuff, huh? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, missile, you gotta go. These sell for a lot. I don't want to get rid of them. I mean, I don't have to necessarily pick them up right now either. I can get them later. That's true. Loot later. Kill stuff now. Unless it's like, you know, pulse mines or something that's really useful right this second.
or a unique weapon, obviously. I would I would uh, hold onto that too. But maybe Sydney would pipe up and say, hey, I can get through there, but I guess not. She is good at hacking, though, which is cool. I don't think that's actually a thing, though. According like, to the plans, the turret generator is somewhere in this room. Disable it, and it should make our lives easier. Bad thing right there. Okay. Come, come on. Really? Is that not it? Because it looks like it. Oh. Ah, shit. What am I at right now? 49. I can do plus 20, so I could get enough to do this. Uh, this is a real pain in the ass to go back and get that, but... Honestly, probably worth it. Okay. What's up? Wait here, I'm gonna go get my special backpack. You got it. And I'll be back once I have it. <laughs> I gotta go get my backpack and my utility jumpsuit so I can get enough repair skill to actually uh, repair this thing. Or not to repair it, but you know. I thought I just blew it up, but no, you have to disable it. I mean, would it. Would blowing it up not be good enough? You know, really? But whatever. Okay, do I have any room for anything? I think we're pretty much full, right? Yeah, not really. Can grab, like, maybe one gun. Not all of them, obviously. Okay. I'm gonna run back and get my backpack and stuff, and then I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and I brought my stuff, so... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be over encumbered if I do that. Okay, so let me uh, walk over here first and then put the stuff on so I'm not over encumbered walking there. We'll do that, and now disable. There we go. Done. Requires science. Gonna pass net. Okay, so I think we go downstairs now. This place is pretty far down. No wonder there's so little damage. Ah, this area has some lighting and texture glitches. We cannot allow the enemy to penetrate our defenses any deeper. That's a pro or a. Uh... Okay, that's a. Uh... Whatchamacallit, uh... Old glory must not be stained with the blood of tyranny. The enemy will be here soon. You must defend your leader. Remember, our cause is noble. It is the cause of mankind. I don't like this, man. I, these guys, they're gonna come to life and kill me. Where'd she go? I told her to wait, that's right. I have to tell her to come with me. What's up? I am getting so drunk when we get paid for this. Okay. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Shh. 
she's not gonna trigger these, is she? I don't know, she might. Oh, are these guys just all disabled because, oh. So I would have had to uh, fight all these guys. Is that what the implication is here? That's why they're not, they're disabled. She said turrets, I assumed just the turrets, but no, it's like everything. Well, that's a hell of a lot easier, yeah. Making our lives a hell of a lot easier was not an exaggeration at all. Like, that's actually crazy how much easier that's made our lives, honestly. Okay, just gonna look around here for some loot. Well worth bringing the uh, backpack and stuff over here. Up ahead should be the door to the archive strong room. That's where they keep the declaration. The enemy is at the gates. Uh oh. Um. Oh. Hello. You've breached our defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. The Declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope. The one thing that cries out, we are a free nation. You must be Button Gwinnett, the second signer of the Declaration. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with, and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! Um... It's quite brave of you to potentially sacrifice your life over a document. This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Hmm. Is there some way we can make a compromise? Broken promises and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown. But I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. There is more of this than you realize, Button. Please explain, but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that. Oh boy, 3%, huh? Let me prove my honesty by helping you trick the Redcoats. Okay, we'll try it, I guess. Interesting. I had a plan for just this sort of situation. Perhaps this will prove that you're here as an ally, rather than an enemy. We create a forgery of the Declaration and send it off to Great Britain. It might be just the delay we need to get the document out of here safely. I'd love to be at court when King George finds out he wasted all his resources gaining a forgery. We have to be cautious, though. The British scholars would recognize a poor duplicate almost immediately. Hmm. How can we convince a create? Uh, how can we create a convincing forgery? If you were to bring me some iron gall ink, I could produce a mirror perfect duplication. The best place to find some would be in the Arlington Library, which is why I have been unable to do this myself. After all, I can't abandon these fortifications. Okay, I'll try and get it. Excellent. Please hasten back. There's no telling how much longer we can hold here at the fort. I hear the thumping of the cannonade getting closer by the minute. Soon our walls will be breached, and the last bastion of the USA may fall. 
How do I get to the library? The journey will be rife with peril, I'm afraid. You cross Farmer Smith's cornfield and make your way up Greenleaf Hill. Ford your way across Quick Run Creek and make for the horse path. When the pines thin out, you need to make your way along the edge of Arlington. Watch out for redcoats. They have a garrison there. The building across from the fish market is the library. Look for the old clock tower. Uh, thank you, I think. Any other facts you can share about the Declaration? The colony of New York abstained from the Declaration and then later declared its own independence on July 9th, 1776. Okay, um... How'd you end up here? I'm afraid until I know exactly what your intentions are, I can't divulge that top secret information. Fair enough. I'll go get your ink now. I've not yet begun to fight! Okay. What's up? What do you make of this, uh, robot? Look, if you think you can reason with him, go right ahead. My advice? Blow its damn head off. It's obviously malfunctioning. Either way, I'll let you decide. Anything that gets us closer to the prize is fine by me. Do you know how I get to the Arlington Library? Oh, I know where that is. Here, let me punch it into your Pip-Boy map. Okay, cool. That's much better than that robot that tried to tell me where it was for ten minutes. I'm ready. Lead on. Will she follow me to the uh, library as well? The main reason I uh, don't want to... I don't want to... And just take these, huh? Just take these two? Okay. Thank you. I, I don't want to fight him and stuff. Is because... Ooh, sexy sleepwear. Very nice. Charisma plus one. Yes. Very good. I do need that. Is that a wig? Barter plus five and speech plus ten. Plus one int as well. Very nice. Okay, um, I don't have room for this crap. Unfortunately. What am I carrying? It's so heavy. I guess all my ammo and stuff and my food and all that, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, I'm gonna drop some stuff off here for now. I just don't have room at the moment. I really don't want to drop my repair backpack and stuff, though. I want to take this back with me. This only weighs one. It's not... Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Uh... The stealth boys are really heavy. Okay, I'll just take one of those with me. That's fine. And the scrap metal can go. Okay, there we go. I can move again. Good. Yeah, I think I want to do the actual quest. I think it'd be... I mean, I might find some loot as well on the way, so why not, right? Okay, so we have to go to the library, the Arlington Library, which I have been told by other people is a place to go as well. It's all the way over here. It is, it's all the way down here, okay. So we can go to the metro over here and go south from there, I suppose. Okay, so we have to get out of here, go back, drop off stuff. I guess you'll just follow me the entire way there. Seems like she's a companion, which is pretty cool. If so, it's been, like, way too long with me not having a companion to help, like, you know, load up with stuff and help out in firefights. Although, if this is a, an exact copy of the hardcore mode in New Vegas, that means she can die, which would really suck. So, I'll have to be very, very careful, especially in Vicious Waste, because, you know, I'm sure it wouldn't take much for her to just fall over. One stray grenade or missile or something, you know, and that's gonna be it. Alright. See you out of here. 
I guess we'll see if she follows me out. Can I go back here? I didn't check this. I can. Archives, sub-basement. We'll do that later. I have no room right now. She followed me. Yep, she did. Okay, so I guess we can go out and... Uh, go drop off stuff in Megaton and then make our way down south to the library. Yeah, somebody told me there was a weapon or something there. I'm not really sure. I think I won't be able to fast travel from here. There's like a bug with it. Hey! Jesus Christ. Okay, I like her, guys. I like her a lot. She just got me uh, a couple mutant kills there, and I walked right past them, assuming there was nobody here, because, you know, when I cleared this area out, I like her. She's my kind of girl. Okay, uh, let's fast travel. That's why I couldn't fast travel away from here earlier. I had to come, like, all the way out to here to fast travel away, because I think those mutants were over there, but they weren't aggroed on me. Okay. Back to Megaton first. Drop off our stuff. And then, uh... Head over to the library. Cool, yeah, she's a total companion, I'm pretty sure. That's nice, that's nice. Um, I don't know if I'll need all of these. Probably going to be too much to carry. We're really, really over right now. The, uh, the five mil is okay. Quite a bit of uh, ECP and other stuff here. It's pretty cool. Okay, it's 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 pretty. I mean, it's fine. It's just. I mean, it's not. I'm sure it's because I don't have the uh, the skill. But yeah, that that it's not damage per shot. It's not 38 damage per shot. There's no way. Like it's it's nowhere near enough damage. And I am almost positive now that the number you see here, the damage number you see, that is per tick of VATS. As in, like, if I select an enemy and target them once for, like, one VATS shot, that's how much damage it does in that VATS shot. And that VATS shot is, like, five or ten shots or something on this thing. So it's not, like, a super high DPS weapon. It's not bad, though. Certainly it's not bad. It's great for sustained fire, too. Okay, that's fine. Do you have water for me? Still no. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to probably uh, leave it off here for now. We're going to be heading down to the Arlington Library in the next one. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.